Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll explain autocorrelation function's third property, and then I'll give you proof of that third property. I have already listed four different properties of autocorrelation function in my initial session. Out of that four, I'll explain you third property here, and then we will prove that third property. So, basically. third property is based on autocorrelation function for autocorrelation at tau is equals to 0 is maximum so whenever you calculate autocorrelation function autocorrelation function at tau shifting parameter tau is equals to 0 it will be maximum that is what third property so let me list it here first autocorrelation function is maximum at tau is equals to 0 so that is what third property and i have already list, listed that in initial session r of 0 that is what greater than or equal to r of 2 so this is what third property of autocorrelation for energy signal now what is the meaning of it at tau is equals to 0 it is maximum means it will be greater than r of 2 now see what is autocorrelation function autocorrelation function is similarity in between two signals and those two signals are one signal itself and shifted version of that signal right so if i say i have one signal here x of t and here if i have second signal x of t minus 2 so if i say x of t is starting from here right and it is a pulse and x of t minus 2 that will be shifted version of it right so now after delay of 2 that signal will start so it will start from here now see as i have told you autocorrelation is what similarity in between two signals so what is the similarity in between these two signals so if i have a trajectory of these two signals then you can see similarity is this much this signal is similar in this zone only right now that similarity is based on what two if you decrease this to then this signal that will get shifted in this direction and if you increase this to then that signal will get shifted in this direction so as if you increase to then similarity will decrease what it means autocorrelation will decrease and if you increase to then similarity will decrease and if you decrease to then similarity will increase so at tau is equals to 0 what will happen at tau is equals to 0 autocorrelation will be maximum as two signals are same and as you increase tau similarity will decrease and as similarity decreases autocorrelation even will decrease so that is what this property graphically one can easily understand it but we need to prove that mathematically so for mathematical proof for mathematical proof what i'll be doing is i'll take two signal and if i take two signals different square then one can say it has to be greater than 0 so if i say i have two signals xt and minus x of t minus 2 and if i take difference of square of difference then that has to be greater than or equal to 0 now let us re elaborate this so if you take square then definitely this will be x square of t plus x square of t minus 2 minus 2 x of t 
x of t minus 2 that has to be greater than or equal to 0. Now see if I take this term over this second side then this has to be x square of t plus x square of t minus 2 that has to be greater than or equal to 2 into x of t x of t minus 2. Now see if I take integration from minus infinite to infinite with variable t then you can say this will be minus infinite to infinite x square t dt plus integration from minus infinite to infinite x square of t minus 2 dt that has to be greater than or equal to here 2 is constant so I am taking it outside minus infinite to infinite x t into x t minus 2 dt see this is what this integration right now as per the basic definition of autocorrelation what we can say this is what autocorrelation at 2 is equals to 0 and this is even autocorrelation at 2 is equals to 0 that we can say or one can say this is what energy and this is even energy of signal x of t so this both are energy if i say this is energy e and this is energy e so e plus e that has to be greater than or equal to this is what the basic definition of autocorrelation of x of t with shifting parameter tau so we can say this is what two times of autocorrelation function r of tau so here we can say this is what 2e is equals to 2r of tau so e that has to be greater than or equal to r of tau and what is e e is energy and energy is what autocorrelation function at tau is equals to 0 that i have already proved that in last property energy is autocorrelation function at tau is equals to 0 so we can say this is r of 0 that has to be greater than or equal to r of 2 so here we can clearly see this is what third property which explains you autocorrelation is maximum at tau is equals to 0 and autocorrelation will decrease as you increase shifting parameter tau and that will even happen for random signal so for random signal you will be finding autocorrelation is decreasing drastically as you increase value of tau so this is what the basic third property which is there with us i hope that you have understood this property and if i show you this property graphically for some basic functions then you can understand what is the case which is happening as i have told you in last session we will discuss little bit based on the graph of r of 2 with respect to 2 so if i have r of 2 over here and 2 over here then you will be finding r of 2 at 2 is equals to 0 it will be maximum over here and that is what energy of signal and that value will decrease as one can see like this right so as you increase value of tau that r of tau will get decrease so here it is maximum and its value is energy and here even we can say this energy is equals to r of 0 so this is how graph of autocorrelation is there for some function it is not like this will be the exact shape which will be there what with the graph of r of tau to tau that shape will change with respect to different function but uh, characteristic will be like this only so characteristic of graph in between r of 2 to 2 that will be decreasing function always right here i have shown you one shape so that is this but it is not compulsory like every time it will follow this shape so sometimes students might be thinking like sir apne graph galat plot kiya hai but it is not galat plot kiya hai it is based on function right i have actually when i was teaching that in one of my college like in SVNIT one student told me like this is false shape I have seen different shape of that R of 2 to 2 but that shape is depending on 
function of r of 2 so here function of r of 2 is always decaying function so this may be the shape i hope that you have understood this so characteristic is what decaying that one can say shape cannot be said exactly that is based on what function which is there with r of 2 i hope that you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video